It is what it is, and this is Riley. That's enough. There's no fire. There's a tree. All right. Get the door open. Hold it up. Get the door open. Push the door. Push the door. Push the door. Gotcha. Okay, good. Oh. How's it going, Keaton? You good? There's a, there's a tree here. You'll have to crawl out. Okay, they're good. They're good, Bob. Well, that's not. Backwards, you know. I was like, I'll need damage, but it's just when First stage, it's gone great. Keaton said I wasn't over pushing. Well, right, Keaton? No over pushing. It wasn't over control. Right there. It wasn't over control. Yeah. We had no moments, and I think we just came into this braking zone and it's quite loose and we just locked up in the beginning and got offline and somehow we ended up sideways in between two trees. The car is basically fine. I mean, if there wasn't a tree right there, we could just push it over and keep going. But yeah, really weird situation. But yeah, kind of disappointed. I mean, very disappointed. But we are running third. I mean, it's a fast car. It's faster than I've ever driven. So, um, you know, mistakes happen and just have to learn from it. So... Hopefully we can get the car back out for the second loop of stages, but you know, it is what it is. And this is Riley. Do you feel like you were going faster on this one than yesterday morning? Like more comfortable, more confident, oh, somewhat? Yeah, I mean, this, this stage is honestly my favorite of the rally. Um, it's it's fast, but, but technical at the same time. Lots of little humps and jumps and you know, yeah. Yeah, it was a really fun stage, um, and I felt like I was just more confident, um, keeping, you know, higher speed through the corners, so, uh, yeah, just a little bit too much, I guess. It's quite loose when you get off the line. Yeah. Car looks fine, other than being on its side and being wedged. Would you hope to be back out there this yeah, afternoon? I mean, of course I would hope to be back out there, you know, like, I mean, it's an unfortunate situation, like, really weird how that happened. I mean, we got pretty lucky to not hit any trees, like, side on. But, um, yeah, we'll have to see when they pull it out. It might do more damage pulling it out than we went in. <laughs> yeah. You know, now, being back into rally a little bit, do you, are you trying to kind of thinking about doing some rallies next year as well? Well, I mean, it all depends on the time I have, yeah. you know. Um, I mean, I would obviously love to, but, you know, traveling a lot, so it's not much time. <laughs> yeah. What a morning it's been. You know, we went out to SS10, first stage of the morning. I was standing at the corner directly after where Leah and Keaton went off. And as soon as I heard that car come to a stop, I went full sprint to the scene. Luckily, there was a couple of spectators already there trying to tip them over. You know, uh, having some training, being a competitor myself, I understood, you know, we had to get them out of the car, make sure everything was okay. So we got the door open. I didn't even realize my phone was still recording the whole time I was sprinting. I was fully out of breath, but we got them out of the car. I peeked my head in once Leah was out to, to see Keaton, make sure he was okay. And he was still belted in, holding the notes, ready to go. He was saying, hey, are you going to tip us back over? And I'm like, no, man, you're, you're wedged in between trees. We got to get you out of the car. But in moments like that, it really shows you know, how well the marshals were able to slow cars down prior, seeing some spectators, make sure that, you know, get these people out of the car, get it safe. 
great to see Leah's mentality uh, with the off. She wants to get back in the car. She was asking as soon as we got out, you know, can we tip this thing back over? How do we move it around those trees? Hopefully Sweep can pull the car out and get it back on the road for the third loop. But you know, this is just a learning experience. It wasn't that big of an off. Yes, it looks like the car's on its side and way off into the trees, but it really just hit a bank and kind of wedged off the road a little bit. This is part of the sport. It's a very good learning experience for Leah and it's great to see her mentality out of the cars. I want to get back in right away. So looking forward to seeing what the rest of the day holds and hopefully we'll see Leah back on the stages more this event and in future events here in the ARA.